This week, I'm gonna be fixing more of the worst slimes that you guys have sent us, but first, we hit our like goal on my last video, which means I have to be a vampire for the next 15 minutes. Should I redo it? So let's get into our first fan slime. Okay, I'm setting my timer for 15 minutes. Ah yes, blood. <laughs> Dear Peachy Babies, I have made this slime, but it turned out bad. Can you please fix it on camera for me? Thank you. Yes, I can, Avery. So she would like this to be turned into triple layer cookie crunch cake, which I love that idea. Let's see what else she sent first. Some adorable animal stickers. It's a sailor dog. I love sailor dogs. This right here is my favorite thing. I love these little tiny squishy things. Okay, time to get into the slime. This is an awesome slime container. It says Avery's super weird slime. Great texture. This is also a good amount of slime. This is gonna be really easy to fix, I think. This is called triple layer cookie crunch cake. So I want to have three layers. So these three sections, I wanna dye yellow. And then these two little sections, I want to dye brown for the little bits of chocolate. Aren't vampires supposed to be like deathly allergic to chocolate? What? I believe it might be garlic, but I'm pretty sure it's also chocolate. Bro, what are you talking about? A Little bit of yellow. We have accomplished our goal. Three sections. I want to add these cake crumbs in between each layer of our cake. So we're gonna start off with our biggest piece of cake here on the bottom. And I'm gonna add my little fudge here. I'm really liking how this looks. Cake part number two, crumbs number two. I'm just adding in the fudge around the sides for this one. She also said she'd like a one ounce of thick and glossy to look like a syrup to go on top. Thankfully, I have thick and glossy. So I just need to take a big little tiny section of this. Okay, I have my brown here. I'm gonna add it to my thick and glossy to just get that little syrupy look. Oh, it's time to not be a vampire anymore. Wow, I feel so much better now. I have my one ounce container here. So let's just fill it up and make sure it is the correct amount. That is one ounce of slime. Add that in here. I want to add some charms to the top. I'm gonna add in three little cookie charms on top. And then I wanted to add a couple of these little pastel chocolate chips. And there we have it. This is Avery's triple layer cookie crunch cake. I think it looks amazing, but you guys know how typically when I fix somebody's slime, at the end of it, we mix it together and we're done with it. But today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be sealing up this slime, putting it in a Peachy Baby's box and sending it back to Avery. So let's get her box ready. Okay, I want her to receive this package as if she was receiving an order from PG Babies, but it's like extra special. So I'm gonna add her custom slime in there. A note from me, her activator packet, which everyone will get with their order. One of my favorite slimes, Blueberry Cow, and two squishies. I said I love squishies and she sent me a squishy, so I had to send her back a squishy. And there we have it. Thank you so much, Avery, for sending me your slime. I hope you like how I fixed them. Let's get into the next one. Here is our next package from Carissa. This one is extra special. She put so much effort into this one and I know she's gonna be really excited for me to go through it. First off, it says, Please open on camera to Erin from Carissa. To the point, very clear. She sent this package all the way from the UK. I love you guys, you're my favorite company. I sent you a slime and please fix it, I will. Thank you so much, Carissa. She sent so much stuff and she sent a little note in here that says, P.S. I sent you a water slime because she knows that I have this weird obsession with water slimes. So I'm very excited to try to fix this one if I can. Here's the first slime that we're gonna fix. These are the bracelets she sent us. I'm so excited to see them. She said she sent one bracelet for me, one bracelet for Dan, one bracelet for Christian, he's not here right now and one bracelet for Anna so Anna! thank you Carissa and here is Dan's give me that wrist it looks so pretty thank you Carissa for making my hand look so cool on a side note before I get into this slime Carissa your slime ideas were extremely good I'm gonna be giving this to Anna and Andrea to see what they think of it you might make a very good slime shift so here we have our two slimes this one to me looks sort of like chewed bubble gum I would be very curious to know what your guys' slime recipes are when you send them to me. So if you do send me a package in the future and you would like to tell me how you made it, that would be super interesting to me. This one's pretty cool. I like the scent. I like the pretty glitter. This is overall a very pretty slime, but because this is reminding me of chewed bubble gum and it came all the way from the UK, I'm going to name this slime Bubbly Gum because Bubbly is a very popular brand of chewing gum in the UK. So I'm gonna make a brand new slime texture here by mixing together some clear and some 
thick and glossy. There's always the chance when I add Pisha Baby's slime into somebody's slime that they sent us that it's gonna be a disaster. So hopefully that is not the case today because I really like this slime. Okay, it looks pretty much fully incorporated now. It is definitely a gum looking slime. I'm going to very quickly go pick out a scent for this. This one smells a little bit like soda a little bit and I feel like that's perfect for this. Now it is time to work on the theming. I picked out a couple of bubblegum options for us here, but Carissa also did. She has the pink slime, Valentine hearts for the pink slime, and the sprinkle mix, and strawberry charms. Let's mix these together and make the ultimate slime. Really like these ones. I think they are adorable. I'm just gonna dab them on there. Bubbles on here to make it a bubblegum looking slime. These also look like bubbles, so we're gonna add those in there. I love for slimes to have a little character on them, so I'm gonna add this cute little bear. So here we have our first adorable bubbly gum slime. And now, I don't even think Carissa wanted me to fix this, but she sent me a water slime. And I'm going to challenge myself to see if I can fix it to send it back to her. A few moments later. Man, I, re ah, I was so excited to fix this one. Well, this one is officially a fail. There is nothing that I can do for this, but I feel bad not sending back in this slime because I really like the idea of like a sour apple slime. We're just gonna start over. The idea of a sour apple slime makes me think icy and I wanna make this one kind of cool. So I'm gonna use this neon green. I kinda wanna do like a white and green twirl. We're gonna do half white icy and half green icy. And I'm just gonna do that classic Peachy Babies twist. Add it in here. Well, I picked out these green gears that we have at Peachy Babies. They they sort of remind me of like rock candy. And I mixed it with these little blue greenish stars. And then I also picked out an apple. And I also made sure to grab a lime because this is sour apple. And I'm also gonna add glitter. I think it sort of looks like the sour sugar crystals on the outside of a sour candy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that on here. And this is just a little warning because this one is thick and glossy and clear. All of these charms are going to be sunken in when you open it, but they'll still be in there. And when you start playing with it, you'll see it and it'll be super cute. But here are our two slimes that Carissa sent us. For Carissa, I am sending BB Narwhals. Two squishes, your activator packet, a handwritten note, your two slimes. Thank you so much, Carissa, for sending that in. And I'm so excited for you to get your package. Let's move into our next slime. Our third and final box of the day is from Lakin. It looks like she sent us a little baggie of charms. This strange baggie of slime that says slime time on it, and then rock candy. But let's read the note and put on this bracelet. Hi, Erin, will you please fix my slimes. It is really gross. Yes, I will. And she drew a little picture of me holding slime. Adorable. I'm gonna start here with rock candy because this looks like a bigger challenge. They do look like three rocks. It is very rubbery. Uh, I had to really take a second to fully evaluate this slime. And you guys, this is serious. This has only happened once before in my entire slime career, but it's time for a slime bath. So if you don't know what a slime bath is, basically it's when a slime is in pretty rough shape, you add as much glue as you want. You could use white glue, you could use clear glue, you could use glitter glue. I'm gonna use clear glue because I feel like it's the vibe. We're also taking some butter lotion or any kind of lotion really. This one just smells the best in my opinion because it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love slime baths. I'm gonna use a nice sky blue for this. A little whip of Peachy Baby's activator for our final step, inserting the slime. We mix it up. I fixed it. All it takes is a little slime bath and about 45 minutes of mixing. So I'm gonna take just enough of this to fill up a cup. So on her original packaging, she called this rock candy, which love that idea. I went ahead and picked out a charm and sprinkle mix for this slime. So I have some bright pink ones and some bright green ones to make it look like a mixture of rock candy. And then I picked out some charm options. So I have here this gummy teddy bear thing, which is technically a zombie. This one is personally my favorite. It is the giant pink gummy bear. One of our best charms, honestly. This like sour looking candy heart. Gotta do something with all this slime. One second. Uh. Here is our finished rock candy slime. Now let's see what's going on here with this little baggie of moon swirl. Ooh. Uh, this is a completely new experience for me. I've never seen a slime like this. It's like super dry on the top and super sticky on the bottom. That's so weird. We haven't done a cloud slime yet today, so I think I'm gonna add my cloud slime into this. Mix it on up, see how it reacts to each other. 
Now I need to figure out a cool way to assemble this to give off moon swirl vibes. So I have possibly my favorite sprinkle charm mix, this like purpley pink one, and then all of these stars and like moons and stuff. I would like to incorporate to my memory dough and do a swirl. Nice, beautiful white and purple swirl. A nice little swirl for the top. And now it is time to add our charms and sprinkles. I think this sprinkle mix is adorable for this. And now I wanna add one pink foam star, one purple foam star, a moon, and then I love these jelly stars. Here is moon swirl. Now it is time for these slimes to go back home where they belong to Lakin. I'm also going to send lavender cow because number one, it is one of our most classic slimes that you can get right now at peachybabies.com. But also it reminds me a little bit of moon swirl. They will complement each other well. Also, of course, two squishies, activator, and your handwritten note. Thank you so much, Lakin, for setting in those slimes, and I really hope you enjoy what I sent you. Thank you so much to Avery, Lakin, and Carissa for sending in your slimes. I'm gonna go send them out right now. If you guys want me to do another one of these videos, get this video to 6,000 likes, and I will make another part of it. Besides that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.